a recent Storm Trisel Club Safety at Sea seminar, we caught up with Brooke West. If you have a fire on your boat, the race is over, you're done. Brooke is an experienced firefighter, as well as a veteran offshore sailor and a Storm Trisel Club member. He's also the instructor for the firefighting component of the Safety at Sea seminar. What are the essentials that you teach people about putting out a fire? Mostly what we're trying to get people is getting them accustomed to using the extinguisher. Most people have never fired one before. They've never had an opportunity to do so. So that's what we're trying to get them to do. What we're trying to impress upon them is to use the whole extinguisher, aim at the base of the fire. Most people, they see a fire and the first thing they're doing is they're aiming at the flames. Um, and that's not where the, the source of the fuel is, it's down at the bottom. So by lighting these pits on fire, we're getting them accustomed to aiming at the base, sweeping back and forth, and knocking the fire out. A common acronym to keep in mind when using a fire extinguisher is PASS, P-A-S-S. -S. Pull the pin, aim at the base of the fire, not the flames, squeeze the trigger, and sweep back and forth across the base of the fire. If you do have a fire, what should you do? First thing you need to do is call for help. Get the cavalry coming, get people there as quickly as you possibly can. You want to turn the boat into the wind. You want to start getting your crew ready to evacuate the boat or abandon ship. And then you want to start fighting the fire. You want to start fighting the fire with two people. Um, all of that, it sounds like a long time, all of that should only take a matter of seconds. And what do you fight the fire with? Should you ever fight a fire on a boat with water? As a last resort, yes, um, but you want to use your extinguishers. You want to use your ABC dry chemical extinguishers. If you happen to have a CO2 extinguisher aboard, you can use that. But your last effort is going to be water. You don't want to bring water onto the boat for obvious reasons. But if you also have a diesel fuel fire, you've now created a moving fire on the boat. And what about foul weather gear? Foul weather gear, unfortunately, is made of synthetic fibers and it will shrink and melt. So you don't want to fight a fire wearing your foulies. You want to try to get that off, you want to leave it on deck, and you want to then go in and attack the fire. You may end up with some surface burns if you happen to get that close, but that's going to heal. Foul weather gear shrunk down and, and melted to your skin, that's a bad day for everybody. How many fire extinguishers should be aboard a boat? U.S. Coast Guard has a list of recommendations. I generally try to tell people to at least double that. They say, I believe it's a 40-footer you're supposed to have. Uh, I believe it's three extinguishers. I'm all for putting six on board. Put a couple in the cockpit, so if you're going down below, you've got an extinguisher in your hand, and then put the rest throughout the boat down below, clearly marked so everybody knows where they are. Nobody has to search for it. And how often should you have your uh, fire extinguishers inspected? Every year. Your marina can do that for you. There are all sorts of uh, companies that will come out and do that for you. But you as a boat owner should inspect your extinguishers every single season.